Hello friends. Are you having internet connectivity issues at one corner of your home? Also do you have this piece of hardware lying somewhere near you? Here is a great demo to make your own Wi-Fi extender that works well within your home network. Let's get started. Most of the Raspberry Pi after version 3 comes with a inbuilt Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and a gigabit ethernet port which supports a high speed internet connectivity. Other old Raspberry Pis do not have a onboard support, but an additional Wi-Fi module or external Wi-Fi dongle can be purchased to create a Wi-Fi hotspot or access point. Hey, so what is a wireless access point? An access point is a device that creates a wireless local area network, usually in an office or a large building. For example, if you want to enable Wi-Fi access in your home garage or attic area, but you don't have a router within range. you can install a access point and run a ethernet cable through the ceiling back to the server room so we are going to do the same today and let's see how to convert this credit card sized computer to a wireless access point a raspberry pi within a ethernet network can be used as a wireless access point creating a secondary network the resulting new wireless network is entirely managed by raspberry pi so you guys might think why not buy a cheap wireless extender from walmart or an amazon that performs the similar functionality but raspberry pi wifi is a low cost and a low power consumption device that's a huge advantage and also doing something like this is a great do it yourself project and a valuable learning opportunity to get started with your home network in this video i'm going to use a raspberry pi 3b plus and this project is compatible with a raspberry pi 0 or any variant of raspberry pi with at least 512 mb of ram You might need a SD card reader with at least 8 GB in it, and then you need a internet connectivity and a Ethernet cable, a power brick to power the Raspberry Pi, and a keyboard and mouse for execution. Let's install a fresh Raspberry Pi OS in the 16 GB memory card using a Raspberry Pi Imager. Now insert the SD card back into the Raspberry Pi. and connect your raspberry pi to the ethernet network ensure the raspberry pi os on the raspberry pi is up to date and reboot if packages were installed in the process take note of the ip configuration of the ethernet network the raspberry pi is connected to in this demo we have the ip network of 192.168.1.129 which is configured to ethernet lan so let's install the access point and management software in order to work as an access point installed host apd and then let's enable the wireless access point and set it to the start when your raspberry pi boots in order to do that we got to unmask and enable it and then we got to provide the network management services like dns dhcp to wireless clients the raspberry pi need to have the dns mask software package installed To install that, let's type sudo apt install dns mask. Finally, install the netfilter and the plugin ip tables and this utility helps by saving the firewall rules and restoring them when the raspberry pi boots. Now that the software installation is complete, let's configure the network router. Raspberry pi has the capability to run and manage its own wireless network. It has a inbuilt dhcp server for the wireless network. and this requires a static ip configuration set on the wireless interface wlan0 so we give it the very first ip address in the network which is 192.168.4.1 to configure the static ip address edit the configuration file for dhcp cd with this following command go to the end of the file and add the following instructions Now let's configure the Raspberry Pi to let wireless clients like mobile phone, laptop or iPad access the computers on the main network and then from there to internet. To enable routing that is to allow traffic flow from one network to another in the Raspberry Pi, let's create a file using the following command. And let's put the following instruction in this file and hit control X to save. The Raspberry Pi will receive all the incoming traffic substitute the ip address of the wireless clients with its own ip address on the lan and this can be done by adding a single firewall rule in the raspberry pi copy paste the instruction to do that 
Now let's save the current firewall rules for IPv4 and IPv6 to be loaded at the boot by the netfilter service. To perform that, let's copy the command sudo netfilter hyphen persistent save. Filtering rules are saved to the directory slash etc slash IP tables slash. If in the future, if you want to change the configuration of your firewall, make sure to save the configuration before rebooting. Now let's configure the DHCP and DNS services for the wireless network. These services are provided by a package called DNS mask. The default configuration file serves as a template for all the possible configuration options, whereas we only need a few. It is easier to start from the empty file. Let's rename the default configuration file and edit a new one. Add the following to the file and save it. Now that the Raspberry Pi will deliver the IP address that ranges between 192.168.4.2 and 192.168.4.20 with a least time of 24 hours to wireless DHCP clients. You should be able to reach the Raspberry Pi under the name gw.wirelesslan from any wireless clients. Let's create the host apd configuration file located at slash etc slash host apd slash host pad dot conf. Let's add the following instruction to the configuration file and this configuration assumes we are using a channel 7 with the network name of raspberry pi wi-fi and a password raspberry pi. Note that the name and password should not have quotes around them. The Pass phrase should be between 8 and 64 characters in length. That's the condition. Now restart your Raspberry Pi and verify that the wireless access point becomes automatically available. Once your Raspberry Pi has restarted, search for the wireless network on your mobile phone. If the wireless device is able to access the internet by browsing or able to watch the YouTube videos, Congratulations on setting up your new access point. Bottom line, when I did the speed test, internet speed was not so great because of the limited hardware capability of this tiny computer. General browsing and the video watching is great in the outdoors and the internet is so stable. However, performance might be questionable for activities that require a very low latency like gaming or social media live streaming. Hopefully by now, you should have a fully operational Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi extender. If you come across any issues or have any feedback related to this tutorial, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.